Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be taking a look at the TP-Link Gigabit 8 port switch. There's the model number. Um, why did I get this? Because at the moment I have a 100 megabit switch with 5 ports and they're all used. So I went for the 8-bit of TP-Link because of the price of only $30. So let's take a look at this box front of it explains it's a thousand megabit switch energy saving I don't know how to do it but it says technology saves up to 80% that's a lot anyway I'm not concerned about that I'm more concerned about the speed so as you can expect from a switch it's plug and play no configuration required right the side of the box system requirements and the other side we have your standard specifications so we have the standards the interface switching features forwarding rates your power led or power light for your power electricity for your link speed and the dimensions All right let's get back to the back of the box so again Go green, power down idle ports, power budget according to cable length, which is very handy. Uh, what does this product do? Well, I think it switches your network. Right, it comes in different languages, typical network setup. Uh, that's not the way I'm doing it, but it gives you an example. So let's open the box. So what have we got in the box? Of course, the user guide or instruction manual, which hopefully we don't need. Next is another one, but a shorter one. Don't need that. We have power cable, standard, and we have the switch itself. So it's pretty basic looking, which I like. Small. And the best part is it's got a lot of ports. Plenty of ports. So that was my unboxing and taking a short look at the TP-Link 8 port gigabit switch and after this I will show you how to set it up and the advantages over 100 megabit versus a gigabit. So as you can see here at the moment I have a 100 megabit connection to my switch and I also have a NAS which is also connected to the same switch at this speed. And um, for an example, let's copy something over. Uh, let's pick something big. And there we go. Uh, 
and as you can see the speed is limited to around 11 megabytes a second which isn't all too great saying the file is local it's not being copied over the internet so this is my big mess and I will show you how to replace the switch so this is my current switch which is a 100 megabit switch so what you want to do is unplug everything just like that and unplug your power Find it all. And then plug everything back in. 